Alright, so we're going to continue with our topic which is a boundary layer theory. A boundary layer will occur whenever there is a free stream of flow goes onto a flat surface. Right, so if this is your surface, okay, this is your flat surface, and there is a free stream flow coming from the left at the magnitude of u infinity. Alright, the free stream velocity u infinity could be 10 meter per second, 3 meter per second, so whatever it may be. And then you will have a boundary layer that looks something like this. And then it grows bigger like this. Okay. And the first part here is called lamina boundary layer. Right. And the second part is called turbulent boundary layer. This boundary layer is going to keep growing as long as the surface is there. And if I mark here as x, right, and then this distance, I'm going to call it xc, which is called the critical length, right, the critical length. And this critical length is the length at which the boundary layer shifts from lamina to turbulent. If I were to take a Renox number, okay, you know that Renox number is equal to a characteristic length of something multiplied by its velocity divided by the kinematic viscosity, right? And the characteristic length for flat surface is the distance from the leading edge, okay? And the leading edge is here, let me mark, the leading edge is here, so it starts with x equal to zero meaning that as you go along this direction you will have a different Renox number right and i'm going to call this Renox number re x which is equal to x times u divided by nu right and when x equal to xc so Renox number becomes critical Renox number that is xc times u divided by nu. So the critical Renox number is where the boundary layer shift from lamina to turbulent, right? And what is the Renox number for lamina? Okay, the Renox number for lamina is less than 3 times 10 to the power of 5, okay? And the Renox number for turbulent region is Renox number greater than 5 times 10 to the power of 5. And in between this is called the transition region. And transition region is not fixed, right? It depends on the surface roughness and some other things. But we will not be covering transition region in this subject. So we will only cover lamina and then we will cover turbulent and okay uh, so this is called rex okay rex means that the Renox number that's changing according to x and x is the distance from the leading edge to wherever your x is now that we've established that there are two regions of boundary layer which is lamina boundary layer and turbulent boundary layer let me mark it here so this is uh, lamina boundary layer and turbulent boundary layer and we know that the transition occurs at x equal to xc and the Renox number at which this transition occur is for lamina is Renox number less than 3 times 10 to the power of 5 okay and for turbulent is that Renox number greater than 5 times 10 to the power of 5. And let me repeat this to you again that this number could change, but this is the general number that we usually accept for the transition between lamina to turbulent. Okay, now let's dive in a little bit more on what's happening inside a lamina boundary layer. Okay, if I take a line, let me mark it as red color. If I take a line here, Okay, and I want to study that line, so I'm going to zoom it in at this region only. Okay, and if I go down here and I plot this line, right, so this is the zoom in 
of this line right and this is your plate okay so let me mark it here this is your plate okay and remember that this is the line that I zoomed in right so let me make it here so this is that line right and let us study this line okay now for this line we know that when the flow touches the surface of the wall what happens at if I do y direction that goes up so at y equal to zero what do you think happens to the velocity velocity will be zero right that's because the molecule that is on the wall will stay at the same velocity as the wall and as in our case that the wall stays at zero velocity so the velocity will be zero right as y goes up right and the velocity started to go up okay the further away it is from the wall the higher the velocity until you come to the edge of boundary layer okay and this will form what we call a velocity profile okay it looks something like this and this is called the velocity profile okay so here this distance here is known as del or we call it boundary layer thickness i'm going to write it here del is equal to boundary layer thickness so what is the velocity at y equal to del okay what is the velocity here and if we look at our figure here the velocity at the edge of the boundary layer will be the velocity of the free stream flow it will be this velocity okay so at y equal to del u here is gonna be equal to u sorry u here is gonna be equal to u infinity all right i think in your book u is equal to 0.99 u infinity but it's quite the same right so u equal to u infinity right so i'm gonna put another condition here at y equal to del u equal to u infinity what are other conditions that we can derive from this figure from this figure alone okay uh, i can also say that at y equal to del there is no more change in u right because u will always be u infinity right so du over dy now becomes zero okay because if i plot the velocity here right if i plot the velocity let's use orange this time if i plot the velocity here right it will always be u infinity right there's no more change outside the boundary layer right and one more condition that i can extract from this is that at y equal to zero right the second order derivative for u will also be zero okay now with these conditions right i'm pretty sure you can imagine what i'm going to do next all right now our next task is to actually find the equation for the velocity profile what are the equation that represent this velocity profile now if i were to plot this in the form of a graph now if i do here y and this is u okay i can plot it like this right and to make things easier i'm gonna okay you know that this is zero and here is u infinity right and to make things easier can i plot y against u over u infinity so here becomes one right does it make sense okay now i want to find the equation that represent u over u infinity as a function of y okay for example i can do 
u over u infinity equal to a plus b y. Okay, so if I take a equal to zero, then if I want to plot this equation, right? This is y, this is u over u infinity. I'm going to get this line, isn't it? But this line is not what we are looking for, right? We are looking for something that looks like that. So this usually in the form of polynomials, right? So it could be second order polynomial or third order polynomial, right? So my equation is likely going to be y, sorry, it's likely going to be u over u infinity equal to a plus b y plus c y square. It could be like that, right? Or it could be u over u infinity equal to a plus b y plus c y square plus d y cube. It could also be that. Now let's move things a little bit. So I'm going to move this a little bit here because this is going to the edge, right? So let's say I'm going to work on this equation, okay? Let's try and find A, B, and C, okay? Now, how do we find it is we use this relationship, all right? Now, let's see. First, we have at Y equal to zero, then you do u equal to zero u will be zero equal to a plus b times zero plus c times zero square now obviously a becomes zero okay so that's your a now let's do at y equal to del y equal to del u becomes u infinity right so at y equal to del u becomes u infinity means u over u infinity becomes 1 equal to okay so we know that a is 0 so uh, I'm gonna do b times del plus c del squared right obviously we have one equation but we have two unknowns so we cannot solve this yet and let's see what we can do next okay so now our Relationship number three is that at y equal to del du over dy is going to be zero. For this, you're going to have to differentiate the velocity function. Okay, so our velocity function is u over u infinity equal to a plus b y plus c y square. Now we know a is zero. Okay, a is zero. So u is equal to u infinity times by plus cy square. Alright, what happens when we differentiate this? So this is du over dy will equal to u infinity. This is b plus 2cy. Alright, and we know that at y equal to del, Right at y equal to del du over dy will be zero. So this is u infinity b plus two c del. Right, and what you have here is b equal to minus two c del. Okay, when you have this, and you also have uh, this equation, right? So let's do. Let's say that this is equation number one. And this is your equation number two. I believe now we can find what is B and what is C. Okay, let's do equation number one. Okay, now B del plus C del square equal to one. Let's write again B del plus C del square equal to one. And B is equal to... 2c del, so this is minus 2, minus 2c del square plus c del square equal to 1. So this is minus c del square equal to 1, c equal to 
minus 1 over del square. Okay, and that's how you find C. And B is equal to minus 2C del. And we know C is, so this in purple. So we know what C is. So just plug in there so that we can find B. So this is minus 2 minus 1 over del square times del. So your B will be 2 over del. That. Right, and that's how you find B and C. Now, let's go back to our original equation here, right? And you end up with U over U infinity equal to A is 0, right? A is 0. B is minus, sorry, B is 2 over del. And C is minus 1 over del square. Okay, so easily we can get U over U infinity equal to, okay, so that is 2 over del times Y minus 1 over del square y square. Alright, sorry about this. So here let me write it again. So you're gonna group this as 2y over del minus y over del square. Okay, and this equation is your final equation to represent this curve. Okay, to represent this curve. Okay, so this curve might be u over u infinity equal to two y over del minus y over del square. This is two y over del minus y over del square. Could be that. Okay, if we have a, b and c. So I think it's enough for now because the video is getting quite long. So you can go through it as many times as you want. Okay, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.